Welcome to another edition of Our City. First of all, this Sunday will be Mother's Day, and I'd like to extend to all of the mothers in the city of Elizabeth a very happy and blessed Mother's Day. Earlier today, I joined the Department of Health and Human Services, the Office on Aging, at their Mother's Day celebration. The Liberty Square Senior Center hosted at El Salvador Reino Restaurant on Elizabeth Avenue. The event honored most of the mothers from the Liberty Square Senior Center. On Tuesday, May 5th, I'll join members of the Mexican community and other Elizabeth residents for a special celebration of Cinco de Mayo, the independence of Mexico. And as part of the celebration, the Mexican flag will be raised outside of City Hall. On Wednesday, May 6th, I'll join members of the City Council, the Department of Health and Human Services, to the second annual Walk Elizabeth. This event is a citywide initiative to help residents and families learn to live active lifestyles. Free gifts to the first 100 walkers. The walk will be held at the O'Brien Field, located on 2nd Avenue. And on Thursday, May 7th, the, I'll join the Department of Health and Human Services office for a Mother's Day celebration at the Sampson Center. It will be held at the Stephen Sampson Center at 800 Anna Street, and, lo and it will be honoring most of the mothers who attend the Sampson Center Senior Building. On Saturday, May 9th, the United States Postal Service and the National Association of Letter Carriers will once again kick off their annual Stamp Out Hunger event. It is one of the largest one-day food drives in the country. For more information, call 820-8525. If you have some canned items or some food that can be uh, held and not rotten or anything like that, leave it out at your doorstep. The letter carrier will pick it up on Saturday. If you need more information concerning these events or any other events, please call our public information office at 820-4124. And for this week's show, I'm pleased to be joined in the first segment by Jonathan Phillips, the Executive Director of Groundwork Elizabeth. Jonathan, welcome to the show. Hi, Mayor. And Sergeant Jimmy Kearns of the Elizabeth Police Department. Department. Sergeant, welcome to the show. Good afternoon, Mayor. Jimmy, I coach you in Little League. This is scary. Yes, uh, Sisselman Field. <laughs> Sisselman Field. A few Field. years ago. Remember those days? Just yes, a, not, lo not long, right, Jim? No, not very no. long ago. No. Jonathan, this marks the sixth year that we've organized the tour to Elizabeth. And uh, maybe you can talk with our listeners about what the tour is and what you hope to accomplish. Well, thank you, Mayor. And thanks for having us on the show to talk about one of the most exciting events, I think, in this city's uh, year, year long uh, uh, parade of events around the, the city. In one word, what is the Tour de Elizabeth? It's about fun. It's fun. And in more than one word, what it really is, is a 15-mile ride around the city of Elizabeth. It gives people within the city and without the city, people from outside the city, the ability to drive around 15 miles on bicycles, escorted by our gallant police department, uh, closing roads, to be able to see the cultural, historic business districts of, uh, of Elizabeth. Now, Sergeant Kearns, the police department is actively involved in it. Are you a rider or are you? Um, I'm an active participant in the ride as well as a marshal. Um, I participate by uh, mapping out the route, route with uh, Dave Strojak early. Um, I'll ride the route in a car to get the correct mileage. And then after that, uh, a group of us will set out a few weeks before the ride and actually ride the ride to see if there's any pitfalls or any dangerous areas that we should be alert. So you're of. riding on a bicycle? Absolutely, yes. So you're in shit. Unlike your boss who's here, Shaughnessy, he couldn't ride it, right? Well, uh, I've been trying to get him on the bike for some time now, but uh, it seems his knee is injured from his Knees. golf swing. Yeah. Is that what he yes, says? Yes. Knees. Jonathan, uh, every year there's a new theme. What is this year's theme? Well, usually we feature on uh, historical topics, but this year we talk about cultural topics. And the theme is, of course, our overarching theme is Ride It, Live It, Love It, Elizabeth. But this year, it's called Elizabeth on the Big Screen. We're going to be featuring TV shows that were filmed here and movies that were filmed here. Notably, I'll, I'll talk about just one for a second. And a, a nominated uh, Academy Award nominated film called The Wrestler was filmed um, on Elizabeth Avenue in a store called Vintage Mode and in other parts of Union County. So we're going to feature Mickey Rourke and Marissa Tomei and a load of other people. Now, next year, we'll have a different theme. Next year, we have already been advised by uh, the fire director, who's very involved in history, that he's going to uh, bring in some historic fire equipment, and we're going to really get a big historical theme for okay. the tour. And Jim, the, the ride is organized, and you go out ahead of time. Um, how do you make the riders stay together? Some are faster, some are slower. 
basically what we do is at the time of application for the ride, we'll ask the riders group themselves in three different groups. Uh, we have experienced riders, then we'll have uh, families with children, and then we'll go to a lower class with uh, children on smaller bikes that really just because based on their bikes and their wheels can't keep up. So we, and we urge people to put themselves in the correct group. It is a ride and we want people to enjoy themselves. It's not, not a race. Extend, right, not extend themselves uh, so they're off from work on Monday. So, dude, we had that at one year, right? Yes, we, had a, yes. we had a young lady hurt and uh, breaking, it was an arm? She just hurt herself, but she, she just hurt herself, yeah. okay. Can, can children ride alone? Um, children can ride alone. We do have enough marshals available. Uh, myself and other members of the police department volunteer. We're intermingled with other volunteer riders who are more experienced. And yes, children are, are welcome to ride alone, but we do like to have parents on hand just in case there's some type of emergency issue that we need to bring up with them. Jonathan, how does one go about preparing for the tour? How difficult is that? You don't have to be much of a rider at all. It's really a recreational, family-geared, fun event. So we just ask you to take your bike out, make sure you have air in the tires, make sure it's not rusted, oil it up, bring it to a bike shop before you come over, ride your bike around the block at least a few times, make sure you can do it. 15 miles is not long in Elizabeth. We're a pretty flat city, so just make sure you can ride a bike and you can pretty much make, make it around the block a few times. And you can do it. You can do it. The tour, we said it's not a race. Um, the first group, though, likes to get out and race. How do, you, how do you deal with the first group who wants to finish in record times? Well, we put our best out there. We get uh, Giacomo, Sergeant Giacomo Saka out there, and uh, we let him open up the, uh, the pace a little bit. Once again, we'll ask that those riders are on road bikes and can maintain a pace anywhere from 15 to 18 miles an hour. So they go out there and they, they give it a good ride. But for everyone else, what we like is we like the people that are returning to the city that used to be residents here that have, you know, since moved out and they come back and they bring their kids or their grandkids. They ride around. They enjoy the day. They enjoy the sights. You know, a lot of times you'll see people pull over and say, hey, this is where I went to school or, you know, this is where I used to get my hair cut. You know, that's exciting as well as, you know, it's a day free of iPods. It's a day free of text messaging. It's, it's a family event, and it's, you know, one of the key events, as Jonathan said, in, inside the city where we get people old and new coming in and enjoy everything we have to offer here. Who wants to talk? You both want to talk about the route? It starts where? Well, we'll talk. We're actually going to go through the entire city. I, I'll let uh, Jimmy uh, uh, hone in on this, too. But we're going to go all the way down to the seaport, uh, ride along the bike ride, hike and roll through way along the Arthur Kill, come around the mall, and uh, I'll let you take it from there a little bit. Yeah, we have that. a couple key spots we like to hit. We like to hit the waterfront. We like to go down to Jersey Gardens Mall. We like to drive, you know, in between the smaller streets of the city. We like to go down both districts. Uh, we'll come out of the mall, go down Trumbull Street, uh, go into the city, uh, into Elizabeth Avenue, come down past the Ritz, which is a scene of many uh, different movies, and music videos. Uh, we like to pass by the train station, of course. It's seen right here. We have our, uh, our logo. We have the arch from the train station, which we like to proudly present on the hat. Uh, after that, we'll take a, a stroll down. We'll go through the Elmora Hills. We know we have a few people that have problems on the Elmora Hill itself, the McGee Avenue Hill. Uh, we'll go through there. We'll pass by a couple of noted celebrities residences and then uh, we go to one we come down Elmora Avenue which is to me is the highlight of the of the tour itself because we close off Elmora Avenue for a brief time and we you know we flood it with about three to four hundred riders and it's a, it's a pretty unique experience we come through Warnanko and back down the city and I would like to say on the route we're going to be stopping by the locations of various filmings for example Correct. the wrestler we talked about vintage mode at the uh, Ritz Theater, a number of uh, movies were filmed there, a Woody Allen movie, uh, 